Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about Show me your skills kid, what do you got on the mic? We'll be talking about <laughs> A very popular game called Huh? Whoa! Five Nights at Funkin' I mean, where do we start with something like this? We got the Friday Night Funkin' Newgrounds Animation Contest. This came out after they released the two t-shirts for sale. They said that they got a little bit of coin. They want to give it back to the community, about 5K worth back to the community. The community itself gave up 1.4K to support this animation I mean, where jam. else are you going to go to find a place that supports its own community to the point of offering up prizes and asking people if they want to donate to this thing just because it inspires you to see something created, to ask creators to make something? beautiful for the website that and we all just get to enjoy and sit back new grounds everything by somebody eventually just a little bit of background context my name is zin zinix nice to meet you i've hosted a lot of art things related on new grounds this goes from anything from events to contests i like to bring people together just to draw and as a result i get hit up all the time to host different events to help people get things together i don't know why that became my kind of role i guess i'm just the type of person that likes hosting events on new grounds it likes getting information out about the users and enjoys making Mainly the art aspect but also the community aspect it's just mind-blowing every time I mean we're talking about hundreds of art pieces that I have to judge back to back to back and the only rules I set are for originality and I put originality in quotations because obviously what is original anymore so what are we talking about here we're talking originality we're talking Friday Night Funkin animations we're talking grouping up all these submissions and seeing Who's the outlier? Who hit the nail on the head? And who just did the right things for the theme of the contest? This is about setting aside personal bias and just staring at who deserves praise and for what or why. So without further ado, let's get into this. Top 10 Friday Night Funkin' Animations. I'm gonna start you off with a category for each of the places. I managed to group up all the submissions and set them apart from what they did differently from other ones as well as how hard they hit the nail on the head of what Friday Night Funkin' is. How they utilized the theme to their advantage and how they might have made something new and unique based off of the universe that Friday Night Funkin' finds itself inside of. This can be anything from the mods to new gameplay mechanics to just giving an interesting take or maybe some background on the characters. Being all together an overwhelming story instead of underwhelming for what you can do with this game and its concepts. Keep in mind this game is heavily influenced by Newgrounds and is in of itself a Newgrounds game so using Newgrounds themes to your advantage or the characters within Newgrounds or even the culture that Newgrounds lies inside of. Using that will also set you ahead of the others. Without further ado, category number 10 is complacency. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean animations that took the Friday Night Funkin' universe and kind of casually crafted their own experience in it without being too serious. This category includes a lot of knockoffs, a lot of normal antics taking place, like maybe boyfriend or girlfriend go to the shopping center, maybe they go to the carnival. It's just normal, everyday things. Or maybe it's a rundown of all the weeks, except boyfriend has superpowers and he's just slapping everybody around very casually. Like he's always had these powers. Like everything's just in this setting, in this category. This is the norm. Bethany, get the shotgun. Dear, you don't own a shotgun. Do you mean your BB gun? Damn it, woman. No, he knows. Who? That kid. <laughs> Sherman, do you really not recognize your own grandson? Oh, oh, hey, how you been, Nathan? Boyfriend? No, 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 I'm not calling you that. How's it gonna look to people in Target if I say, Hey, can you pass me the Toblerone, boyfriend? The real charm in these is the commonplace feeling you get from watching them. You can sit back and relax. You don't have to worry about boyfriend and girlfriend getting chopped to pieces. You don't have to worry about too intensive rap battles. It's just hanging out, basically, with the cast. And it's kind of charming in that way.
So let's talk runner up. Every day the same thing. The same chill down my spine. I know I'll fuck something up today, I can feel it. People are going to see the big farce that I am. No, no, remember what the doctor told you, you can't think like that. You know how to do this, you have been doing it longer than anyone. You are their example. And that's exactly what's so frightening about it. I can't fail. I have to do it perfectly. But at some point I know I'll fail. And I'll disappoint them. I'll make a fool of myself. And worse, I'll make all of them look like fools too. Imposter Syndrome by Astro Goat Crew is one of the most genius animations I've seen that takes a really complacent spin-off on one of the side characters and gives you a reason to believe in this side character. It goes through a full momentum. It goes from a depressing morning into a finally balanced out healthy mental attitude in which you're going to start dancing on limos later. There's something brilliant to putting this specific character into a casual setting and then saying, hey man, let's hype you up. Let's give you a purpose instead of just being a background character. And that in itself is beautiful because <laughs> sometimes we all feel like we're background characters until we get it figured out. Everyone will be amazed. And that's because... Because I'm the best fucking dancer there's ever been. So who do I believe should be first in the complacent category? The most complacent animation of them all? Just vibrantly chill? The vibes turned down completely low. It's like a muddled tone going over and over and over. Come in, please! I want to please! Friend, I fucking please! Alright, uh, that was pretty okay. I guess just uh, let me check with these guys. Just a sec. Hey guys! Any thoughts on this? Okay, check this out. This is you if you were my hand and I was trying to reach inside a can of Pringles. So check this out, check this out. <sighs> Just whatever, you're in. Chips go whoa puts the logic in lethargic. He understands that the Friday Night Funkin' crew is not the most serious bunch. You can see that from their, their Kickstarter where they got a bunch of joke tears. I mean, don't get me wrong, Cam works day and night on the game some some weeks when he's not taking it off, and he'll put in 60 hours. You got Quice, right, who cranks out music, and because of the Kickstarter, now owes like 300 songs. You got Phantom Arcade doing all the animation. Evil Skater probably going to help with the animation and character designs, but Chips Go Whoa takes the initial core of what the Friday Night Funkin' crew was and makes it as complacent as they are as people. Three, two, one, go! And you can't tell me you didn't feel like that is the actual rendition of how the weeks might go at some point. Because it's scary to think of how much they have on their plate. Speaking of scary, category number nine, scary slash unique. Warning, what you're about to witness is very disturbing and it may not let you be able to sleep right for consecutive weeks in a row. Three, two, one. Now, there aren't that many submissions in the horror category that make you actually disturbed or think that maybe this game has an underlying horror to it beyond what they're just showing you. That maybe this game has tendencies to go into that creepy 
area where people are actually peeling off fingernails and people are actually going to die. I'll treat you right. I'll treat you much better than that good for nothing. You'll be my sweetheart forever and for truly. May I give you a kiss? I had to censor the rest of that. Now, if that's just the runner-up, what do you think the first submission in this category is going to look like? Now, certainly not as disturbing as that last one was, but Grublord's style is what sells this animation so keenly. There were not that many scary submissions, but the way Grublord uses their 3D modeling to show that there might be some instance or some gratification to the Funkin' team using a different medium for animations in between the weeks. Like, they were always wanting the animations in the weeks. Like, imagine this as a cutscene instead, and it's ingenious that Grublord could display something so, so perfectly in their own style. Well, where do we go from here? I guess in order to regain some of my sanity, I might have to just switch the balance real quick from scary to style. We'll make category number eight be the style category. One, two, three, go! You know, it's not so much what you did, it's how you did it. And in this category for style, we're going to be focusing on exactly how the artist interpreted the Friday Night Funkin' Crew or the universe and made it seem like it was something their own. Like, it's, it keeps all the base roots towards Friday Night Funkin', but they just put some pizzazz on it. They put some of that zest. They put some of that learning and training that they did in the bamboo sticks way back in Vietnam. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, but we'll be looking at everyone's style in this category. And there's one that sticks out a little bit more than the others. Well, if you're watching this on Newgrounds, I'm going to leave a couple links here so you can go and, uh, you know. Wait, no, that's not the one I meant. Wait, hold on. Is that a real game? Did someone really just program that? Well, I don't really know what to say to that. I'm like taking it back. Is there anything with a little bit more style than that? Okay, not gonna lie, the cardboard aesthetic looks so good. It's very pleasing to the eyes. And again, it's in that realm of Grublord where you're thinking about the aesthetic and how that could be used to improve FNF's dynamic like look that it could be having. Because it, in essence, it's just 2D characters against a background. And how do you switch that up other than improving the medium by keeping it creative and flowing? But I digress. The style category has an official runner-up. That runner-up is... I feel very unqualified for this. You fucking go down, man. Yeah, man, you fuck. Yo, Darnell, we got a problem here. You can't jump? No, 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 I'm in, I'm in a rap battle. Huh? But, uh, I can't rap, man. You having a rap battle without me? Well, finally, a Darnell cameo. Been waiting for this for a while. It was done beautifully, executed in a way that you couldn't have really seen it coming. I mean, you see the rap coming, you see Pico, but you've seen Pico and Boyfriend rapping so much and no mention of Darnell whatsoever. Finally, he gets some representation up in here. And it's really nice to see the style placating to him very well. Him and Pico looks like some hood rats, some people from the streets, some hip-hop mother truckers. And there's nothing better than seeing Darnell really lay into Boyfriend for not being able to rap. And the, the beat goes hard. 
the bars are really good and it's just it's cool to see Bo Beep Bope get schooled at the game that he's supposed to be into. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at his face, look at his face, look at his face, look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Check that out. Oh my god. Just get the fuck out of here, Pico. Thank God for my black friends! Now, what possibly could have more style than Darnell on the mic? You're clinging to me. You're asking me. You're saying, Zen, what are you thinking? There's nothing more stylistic than uh, Darnell laying some fire bars down on little old boyfriend. Like, what, uh, what, where do we go from here? Where, where does the style train end? Well, I'll tell you where it ends. Now, hold up. Hold up. Hold up quick. Yeah, the boyfriend gonna rap. Yeah, he gonna beatbox. Trying to get the girly, but the daddy wanna stop. Daddy wanna rock, so we let the beat drop. Yeah, he got heat. Now, this was a hard decision. It was between Darnell's unique insertion and a fire beat with some good bars against a good beat with some good bars and some really dynamic animation from Snackers. It's the animation that sells it. And it's that old school, fresh, funky hip hop vibe from a Halo PC that Snackers works with. As it this synergizes and moves along, you're excited for the kind of this alternate intro to to Friday Night Funkin'. Instead of seeing Friday Night Funkin' as instrumentals or bow beepos, you get to finally see it as something that is culturally relevant, and they they executed it phenomenally. Listen to the full song; you have to. You have no choice. Well, we went over style, so it's only fair that we go into alternate universes for our next category. Alternate universes is kind of a niche category where you're taking the Friday Night Funkin' crew and you're making them into a, a, another idea using all the characters but rewriting it, basically. You take all the concepts and turn it into a world completely its own. While yet somehow still staying true to the core concept of Friday Night Funkin' being a rhythm game or rap battle like a versus battle type game because there weren't many submissions in this category where people were willing to just rewrite the whole universe of Friday Night Funkin' into a different setting there is only about three that I think fit this category very well and the runner-up is High New A universe completely its own, a rewrite of all the different characters inside its own little setting. It feels fresh, it feels new, but it feels like it's also alongside of whatever Friday Night Funkin' represents in terms of themes. And I like what these represent in showing the community a different side of how things could play out in the Friday Night Funkin' universe, giving everything different appearances and then maybe different mechanics or different cutscenes or even a different way that they wrap it out. So who cinched the 7th place spot category known as alternate universes? Well, I'll show you right now. All the characters look stylish, they each have their own personality engraved into whatever armor or outfit that they were placed in. Almost like they're alternate costumes, but they're not. It's like a complete rework of every character, giving them their, each their own spot within this universe. There's a start screen, there's a loading screen, there's there's fighting. It, it, it gets you hype for, for another thought about what if there was just this alternate game to Friday Night Funkin'. That we'll, we'll maybe see one day if people want to get super crazy with the mods. I don't know what the team of Friday Night Funkin' really thinks about people maybe making a spinoff game. But this this really, really makes you think about the possibilities of maybe Friday Night Funkin' fighting.
Not even halfway there yet, boys. And we've already reached the heaviest category. This next one, comedy. Oh my lord, were there comedy submissions left and right? So much com- Are you ready? <laughs> Bring it, bear. Uh, <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Comedy, lots of meme, but a lot of original content as well. A lot of original comedy of just taking F and F and being like, hey, let's make some good comedy for once. Let's have all the memes that are out there. So I'd like to showcase some of this original comedy. Did you do the limo bit? Oh, why would you do the limo bit? I told you something like this would happen. It's okay, my love. It was fucking awesome. Rapping? It's all a facade. I don't know how to rap. I just make up random noises and somehow they fit together. But dancing? I know I can do that. So please, my beautiful, busty brunette babe. <laughs> <laughs> you get the point there's a lot of comedy here that sets itself apart from the other ones either using their visual style to be funny or just picking something that's so far out there as an idea such as cancer ward funking if you haven't seen that yet it's hilarious and you're allowed to get away with so much because it's new grounds you're not trying to placate to an audience you're just trying to be silly in in your own in your own way and of course the celebrity Cameo is a, is a good choice when it comes to new grounds. Um, boyfriend, there's a call for you. It's from Kanye West. Bebop. So, you think you're a brilliant musical mind, huh? Think you're a new Kanye? Boop, beep, boop, bop. Then how about we settle this? Live in Madison Square Garden, so we can show the world who the real true genius is. Ba beep boop bop. Honestly, yeah. this one should have been the runner up. I like the way that Kanye West is introduced into the timeline and it goes full circle with a complete animation and story. And it's nice seeing celebrities being inside the atmosphere that Newgrounds is because obviously celebrity cameos are core to what early Newgrounds experiences were like. Of course, not always in the brightest light, but it's nice to see Kanye being reintroduced into the pop culture that Newgrounds was founded on. But the real runner up is this genius idea that was voiced by Senior Page and then animated by someone else. No! No! Come on, dude. Give it, give, give it the flowers. Yeah, yeah, let's give it the flowers. Do it the bobby the bobby. You lost your can do bibby the bobby the bobby the bobby the bobby. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I understand the originality is the concept and when Senior Palo has been using the same kind of form as like a thesis for the way he approaches animation, then to see it again, sure, it can be dry for some, but to understand that <laughs> that boyfriend is using his bopping powers to steal some flowers <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> And what sets it off the most is the instrumental in the background of this disjointed drummer slash keyboard player just adding nuances to the subtle environment of boyfriend being completely unreasonable. And honestly, Kanye West one would win first place if it weren't for the reason of, oh, boyfriend does beeps and bops, becomes famous. Like, that's such a common archetype to boyfriend's depiction to where him being depicted as a small gremlin stealing flowers and showing up and just beeping and bopping and expecting things for it that this is more original I, I, in my eyes obviously Kanye West uh, shout out to him
Yep, Father Feud by Helmier is one of the most interesting takes on the boyfriend-dad relationship. Because every other iteration of them feuding it out is just an escalation. And I like Helmier's style. It betrays boyfriend as a taller, almost like a juvenile punk. So then when dad and BF are just going toe-to-toe and escalating the situation further you can physically see that being something that'll happen it just never ends and the fact that it's over dad battle is interesting too it adds to this this unique scenario where the neon lights in the background kind of emphasize that in this world it's just bf versus dad (laughs) that that is all that matters it's not even about the girlfriend at one point and it also ends with a penis joke Sorry, I meant cock joke. I meant it ends on a cock joke. Fifth place category, weak reel. Yay. Now, you might be asking me, why does that matter? And I have to respond, being able to showcase everything inside Friday Night Funkin' in a unique and interesting way to make other people think, hey, this is everything that the game is about, but it's also interesting it has enough characteristics inside the animation to where I understand what it's about and it makes me want to play it and it looks interesting. And I think people that were able to utilize that deserve a little bit of credit. Also, not that many people did it, so it makes it a unique subcategory, and you're utilizing everything that Friday Night Funkin's about, so it ultimately it makes you stronger in the running for this jam. In my eyes. Obviously, this is, this is an unofficial listing. I just enjoy getting my thoughts out about these. I mean, for obvious reasons, a lot of people stuck to just animating one song. But to try to fit the entire scope of what FNF is in one animation, that deserves some praise. Runner up! This cozy retro animation lets you sit back and soak in the scenery as you enjoy some of your favorite aspects from Friday Night Funkin'. We're talking classic vibes and symbols like Pico's gun and also girlfriend's boobs. Altogether, there's a cinematic feeling you can't suppress and a style you can nod your head at as the other scenes play on over the charming main menu music that further exemplifies a sense of belonging. But I have to give it up to this first place in this week real category because they utilize transitions and themes from the, the game itself to just display the whole thing for you on Front Street with a nice song that is even game canon song, something else. So it's like you're being displayed something to you that, that you understand like a movie would. What can be said about smooth transitions, relevant emotions, and a consistent style allowing utilization of fluid animation? We're brought through the weeks one by one, but each of their individual atmospheres are presented neatly. We see a sad story of Pico's dismay and the revival of his friendship with boyfriend. Everything has emotion, everything has purpose, and it's all captured intelligently with an emphasis on their personal timetable. By the end of this animation, you've experienced Friday Night Funkin'.
Okay, where are we at? Um, okay, category number four, which is for fourth place. We're going to put backstory. There weren't that many attempts at a backstory, which is surprising because you have these characters. You figure if you flesh them out a little bit, then maybe you could get maybe some extra points by being creative. And it turns out that the best one is basically in a field all, all of its own. There's nothing that can really top this, this animation. So I got to give fourth place to this one. Beyond just having new grounds characters and canonical references, Week Zero by Bad Twins has a lot of substance. There's storytelling, good writing, and correct pacing. Nothing feels rushed, and it's easy to become invested as the story unfolds. Isolation never felt so real. Attempts have been made to make the audience feel empathy for BF through those weird dementia mods, if you know what I'm talking about. But the empathy here keeps itself interesting and doubles up as a prelude to FNF's week one. Interesting character development invests the viewer so that by the end of watching you might feel like you're on boyfriend's side, backing him up beyond your need to see him one day funk the girlfriend. Also, the music they chose makes this animation really cinematic. Much love for this one getting me to have actual empathy for boyfriend. Also, also, that animation is like 4 minutes and 40 seconds long. I don't have time to show you all of it, but please check it out. By the end of it, you might too have feelings for BF and want to see him accomplish his goal. Before we go on, I'd like to tell you all to support Newgrounds. It's because they do things like these animation jams, which are purely for the community. and It makes everyone want to create something, and you get to learn about a lot of cool animators and artists and game creators. Newgrounds for for everyone is a collaborative site, and without it, you would not have games like Friday Night Funkin'. So pay your respects. Newgrounds for life, baby. Oh man, we're at the top three. I can feel my palms sweating. I'm rubbing my hands together. Let's do category number three, which is song animation. Left, right, left. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, you chose the most generic category to be third place, but here's my rebuttal. You're taking something that's literally the core component of Friday Night Funkin', which is the song, and you're making it into something that's juicier, something with content, something that adds some more life to Friday Night Funkin'. And even then, you have to you have to find a way to present it where it feels new. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy a few of these. You're Now that you see how hype or proper that these animations can be to propel the original song into something greater, let me show you the runner-up. I can't explain how much I want this one to win. It has a charming animation style, runs for the entire length of the song, and it transitions seamlessly halfway through. 
You have a song like Hi that breaks down melodically during the second half, and the animator used that small breakdown to take their animation into a completely different direction. The evening turning into limos flying through the night sky impressively launches this song into a cinematic masterpiece that goes far and beyond the original 2D limo scene in FNF. So many different angles of animation in this music video that there literally can't be enough praise for the scope of this project. Now, what is the best music video that animators have to offer in this category? Yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're saying this animation is shorter and it doesn't encompass the full song, unlike the last one, but I have to give it to this one because it's it's high octane and they accomplish a lot in a short frame of time it's just it's the pacing that really really leads this one and this is not an easy judgment but just when you hit that tunnel that feeling you get <laughs> I mean, I had to debate that for a really long time, and what it came down to was just impact. There's just what you did with the song that made it impactful, and choosing High as a song, and making that video, that is mind-blowing and impressive. But using Blammed, and then using that to put some real hype into the song, into the setting, that was, that was expertly chosen. Second place, Mods category. Now mods, they make up a large portion of what Friday Night Funkin' is, and if it wasn't for the modding community, Friday Night Funkin' couldn't shine like it truly does. Plus, it's like one of the few things they brought up in the actual rules that, hey, you can include mods, they're encouraged, it'd be cool to see those represented. So given that that is one of the few guidelines that were actually placed, finding a way to include these third-party characters or characters of your own and show it in a mod-sense fashion, that's important. Now, did anybody do this to where it's fantastic? To where it makes it like, hey, this needs to win one of the top prizes. The short and sweet answer to this is a fat yes there are tons of third party characters and they were all displayed in their own little unique sense it's kind of nice to see them implementing the actual arrow system like maybe they animated an intro and then took it a little bit further than that because i know in the original game phantom arcade wanted want to do all these different animations and cutscenes, and in this way it's like the animators are showing the capabilities of that also surprisingly enough a lot of these mod animations or fan animations using third-party characters they're like four minutes long they're full animations with new songs like really bopping music going to it so it's like a full fleshed out project just to showcase hey this would be cool to have in the friday night fucking universe and it deserves a lot of love for that So where does that leave us? That leaves us with animations that have a lot of story, a lot of plot driven animations, and also ones that depend on the mechanics from the game itself to keep it relevant to the source material. Viernes Night Funkin'. It's really cute, really charming, kind of contains that, that charm and aesthetic that you get from early Newgrounds days. You're introduced to the two side characters in this plot, and it's your straightforward, you know, typical everyday, hey, BF wants GF to sit first, 
two girls, they notice, they get all charmed by it, and then they want to rob the bus and take it over. What's great about this one is it introduces how the actual game mechanics would work. Amogus. And you're given animation beforehand to back the plot and why they're doing this. I encourage everyone here to check out the full length animations of any of the ones that I rudely cut off so I gotta save time. Now originally Viernes Night Funking was number one but I had to choose this other animation due to how much it just adds in substance. Weak Sigma is everything you'd want in a normal mod. A proper prelude, villain introduction, and interesting character animations. All the relevancy of Friday Night Funkin's base game remains true, and it comes equipped with an easy to understand plot. Right from the get, you're given a charming animation style, fully prepared to introduce you to their version of FNF based on this third party character. The fun of designing a mod stitched in side universe is on full display. It's quirky in all the right places, but there's a level of seriousness that will invest you as a player. Plus, Weak Sigma gives you something that's not in the base game that was supposed to be there. Phantom Arcade has always wanted to do in-between cutscenes, and there's a way that you can use those to make it so you cheer on the boyfriend. Beyond the reason of, hey, I just want to funk the girl. Like, that's special and all, but what if you really hated the villain? What if you really got to know the other opposite side, and you had that motivation to defeat them? Beyond, hey, I just want to bone my girl. What if you're in a setting like this? To where you genuinely do not want the other side to win. I'm gonna skip ahead and show you the scene of girlfriend backing up boyfriend once he starts to lose. And that's a that's a unique mechanic that I haven't seen before, where she just interrupts and starts hitting these notes for him. I mean, did you just see that? That was amazing. That's something that could literally add substance and content to the base game itself. Just having them help each other out like that. It's <laughs> its so charming <laughs> seeing them fight together. I mean, we're so used to Girlfriend just being this two-dimensional character. Mostly, I know we see her demon eye at some point, but beyond that, we don't know much about her. And this shows a lot and adds actual tangibility to her character role. Just a quick disclaimer, all these choices are really hard to make, and I know that I'm not actually a judge. I think I brought that up before, but I enjoy these animation jams, I enjoy contests, I like judging them, I like getting my thoughts out about them. And the fact that second place is $1,300 and just picking one out of the many that are amazing is very difficult. So hats off to the Friday Night Funkin' team when they finally choose the winners. Now, let's move on to the first place category, the one for all the beans, all the beans. be $2,500. Fresh, I guess is what we're going to call this one, since so many people use the remix version of Fresh, the boyfriend remix version specifically, in order to represent the game. Yo, 
Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what it is about this song that just hyped up a bunch of animators and made them go all out, but there are many songs in this category that hit the nail on the head perfectly. Their animations are fluid, they're they're nice to look at, they, they're appealing in every sense that you would want the game to be appealing. So that's why this category is first. It's because of the animators, and that's how every category should be seen as in this top 10, is that the animators are the ones that took the concept and took it to this level of greatness that you wouldn't see without them. Come place it, wearing those rags you ain't adjacent. Lucky I'm flying, you look basic. Look in her eyes and I feel like taking it for the win. Her dad be evil, no twin. Skin burp like the Sprite sipping. He opened his gap and you wouldn't believe with the sound of an angel when he spit in. Also, I guarantee that the runner-up this time would have been first place if it weren't for the first place. So let's just show you the runner-up. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why isn't this in the music video category? And it's mainly because everyone that chose to use Fresh Remix also made it seem like it was a commercial or like an introduction to the entire world of Friday Night Funk. And they go through everything they can with it. They go through the arrows. They go through the dad and the boyfriend relationship. They bring up the girlfriend. I mean, it's just, it's always so stylish when they use this song. And I think, I think that's a testament to Kweiss Wright's ability to get across what he wanted. And, and that song has been used as a representative for an introduction to Friday Night Funkin'. It's like he's get, he gave the animators the key and said, hey, show people what Friday Night Funkin's about. I want to spend my life with her even if her dad is evil or some shit. Now spit it like this. We getting freaky on a Friday night, yeah. I just want to hold her tight, yeah. Her hair, her eyes, her thighs, yeah. If I die, it'll all be worth it. Just to get a chance to show she's worth it. I just want to hold her tight, yeah. Her hair, her eyes, her thighs, yeah. If I die, it'll all be worth it. Just to get a chance to show she's worth it. So who won first place? Who who gets the big bean burrito? Who gets to do the things that we like to see, which is win money? Dun da da da! Big drum roll, please. Big big drum roll. Big drum roll. Okay, obviously at this point you're sick of hearing this song and in the beginning I did say originality was the way I was going to be judging these. Now just hear me out, okay? Stop, stop doubting me. I see you. Postboy took everything that they knew about the game and they rolled it into this commercial. Initially, the arrows were chosen because of their PS1 scheme on them, and Cam has been trying to pitch the game to Nintendo. Of course, that's jokingly, or serious, I don't know where Cam is on the spectrum of being serious to joking sometimes. But the point being is, is Postboy took every opportunity they could to represent the game's personality and grow it into a concept big enough to where someone who saw this would be interested in all the different ways that it was displayed to them. And it's that quirky personality of not taking itself too seriously that Friday Night Funkin' strives off of. Twist. Also, that animation is just as dynamic and theatrical as it can get. Well, did you like the video? Am I annoying you yet? Is it awful hearing me talk for over 49 minutes? Well, actually, there's a lot of animation in there, too. But the point being is, I have a lot of love for everything created on Newgrounds, and getting my thoughts out there is very important to me. And if you like this kind of content, I guess just leave a like. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe. I feel like that's weird coming from Newgrounds. Hey, just subscribe to my crap, please. But more importantly, please just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the animations. If I left any out, if you thought the winner should have been different. I like to hear all the thoughts that other people can use to express their feelings on these animation jams or these animations that these animators work on very hard. And it's not easy to do animation. I know it looks so easy, don't it? But they deserve a lot of love for what they do. Check out all their videos, support artists, and that's probably what I'm going to leave it on. Support new ground, support artists. Uh, yep, I did my good deed. There we go. Signing off. Um, this song 
is actually non-copyright. And you can find a lot of non-copyright songs on Newgrounds by awesome artists. I'm going to give a shout out to this one. It's by Lucin, and it's called I Went Outside. It was sunny, and for some reason, it was sitting at below 3 out of 5. So I bumped it up with a 5-star rating, and that's the power of Newgrounds, baby! Newgrounds Podcast. <laughs>